Hello there, this is Cookies. I have turn 28 of EA Machaka. And the, the fighting between Baratos and Fomoria is heating up even more. So we'll go ahead and take a look at that. And also we did not find any Blood Slaves to contribute to Sayura production, which is unfortunate. So let's check out the first one. Bunch of Baratos birds against a Barbarian PD dump. There's still this guy. Ouch. Let's see how it actually went. Uh, About the same. Did kill a commander and a priest though, which is pretty good. In Giffa. Another bird raid against what looks like two or three PD. So this is looking pretty successful. There we go. And in Valgard, raiding across the river into Fomorian home territory. Kills the commander. Uh, independents are routed. Classic bird problem. Right. The Great Hawk manages to survive. Let's see how it actually went. Baratos attacks but was defeated. Ends up killing the commander, but ends up also ends up routing. Unfortunate. Alright, now we have three more Baratos attacks. Baratos on the counter offensive. First up in World Pillar. Brings his army to fight the Baratos the Fomorian army. Goodness, misspeaking already. All right, so let's see what we've got here. We've got a number of brides in waiting. Uh, looks like they're doing point buffing. We've got a bunch of mist form coming out. What is this guy casting? Summon imps. We have personal mist form, personal mist form from the the dragon. A bunch more summon imps, so we're gonna have some distraction chaff. A bunch of ichthids. On the right flank, kind of like the right half of the line, we have the Colossi. And on, on the left half, we have the Heavy Spearmen. And it looks like we have some Nightmares in the center. Maybe a few more Colossi over on the left flank. Just a handful, though. For Fomoria, we have on the right flank the Elves, the Numidian Warriors. On the left flank, we have Fomorian Warriors. We have the archery mercs in the center, a whole front line of Fomorian warriors and a couple, featuring a couple of Fomorian kings, and we have some PD, so some like cavalry, some ichthids, and I'll go ahead and let you guys watch this. I'm trying to figure out which, I think we'll watch the point buffing by Baratos. You see Bal Haman here, the king of the city. He's a hero. Has a lightning gore and thunder fist. See lots of mist form coming out. Some protective winds. See what all these imps are doing. At a minimum, they're used, they're eating a lot of javelins, which is good. Okay, you can see some getting used right there. The nightmare is coming forward. All right, the dragon is in. Go ahead and see what his buff cycle was. Personal misform, personal regen, flying shield, personal flight. And then he's in. So I really like the flying shield and the personal. I like all this. Um, yeah, very good buff cycle. Should do a great job. 
especially against these Fomorian guys who don't have magic weapons. Because what's his protection? 18 prot. So, I mean, he'll take damage through Mist Form, but he also deals a lot of damage. And they're probably going to have some serious stat debuffs from the Dragon Gas. Additionally, we've got the Ichthids crossing the field. We have a large amount of Spearmen, and we have some Colossi on the right flank. Overall, no pressure on the back lines by Moria, so no summon talks or anything like that trying to jump on mages. Mistform, a really good buff again, because the majority of the Fomorians don't have magic weapons, except for these elves who have golden spears. It's pretty good that the Draken didn't jump on them. So... see a large number of them routing. They have killed most of pretty much all the Amazons. So these nightmares, they do have that fear effect on the mount, which is pretty nice. But they're also a little bit fragile, so pretty much all of them have been killed. We have the Numidians moving in on the right flank. The Draken is trying to finish off these Solus back here. And it does look like we have some advancing cast brides in waiting. So, doing some fire darts. And that should make a pretty big difference, especially against the elves. We have lightning bolt coming out from the Fomorians. fire blast on the on the elves up here really kill six or seven of them she's up to 20 kills dragon going after this Fomorian king pops his mist form this is just a really grindy fight but Veritas has an elite squad turning the flank here, working on these giants. And Fomoria's got their elves working down the, the opposite flank. So some shockwave, getting some stuns in. And this mosh pit is still going. We have a whole bunch of poison gas. You can see the effect on there. Uh, he's not very poisoned yet. Another good fire blast. The heavy spearmen have routed. The ichthids and the colossi are holding steady though. What a battle. What a brawl. Large number of Solas coming towards the Draken. The Draken is probably a good one to fight them because they're going to have virtually no impact on them. Looks like the Ichthids have routed. And this guy does have a fear effect. You're at 10. And it looks like Fomoria has won this. Pretty cool. Uh, not good for us, except that classically it's a replay bug. 
Uh, I've seen a few different versions of this because of all the patches. And I think Baratos has won two out of three, but it is a pretty brutal fight. Let's go ahead and see how it actually went. So Baratos attacked Gamoria and won. So loses one priest, one commander. Draken goes in, scores 18 kills. He does, his Colossi do extremely well, scoring 44 and losing 2. And I think what happened in the very original battle were these Nightmare Riders hit on the left flank and got a very lucky morale check on the Numidian Warriors and routed them almost immediately. So you can see they, they scored 15 kills and only lost 2, and then they fled the field. So that was just a, a battle-defining moment on that particular patch. So these guys ran very quickly, and then it was just the Fomorian Giants for the most part, and a few, like, a few Fomorian Warriors and Unmarks and the Kings. And all that momentum from that early route on the Numidians enabled Baratos to turn this into a really good victory. So he loses a lot of heavy spearmen, but not even half. Only loses four of the Ichthids. Does lose all of his nightmares and two of the Colossi. It scores a tremendous number of kills. Kills two of the three Fomorian kings. Kills the Fomorian druid. Two other commanders. Wipes out the mercs. Uh, kills seven of forty-two Fomorian giants before they rout. Nine of Nine of 11 Fomorian Warriors, and two of the three Unmarks. So, just a tremendous job, and killed a whole bunch of this PD. So, this went about as well as it could have, for us at least, uh, in the initial fight. So, really, really nice victory by Baratos. And, yeah, we'll go ahead and jump into the main map. So, what that means here is so i think the force on here uh in bergamum came here so i think he was trying to bring both of these forces together and attack uh baratos but baratos was able to push one of those armies and get an isolated fight and then the forces that retreated from this fight went back to here and so that's why you see so much stuff here and then Veritas also cut this particular retreat route as well. And what that means, you can see Bogus down here, is because of Bogus, the level 3 throne, and Veritas' main army, we've effectively cut... You know, I've got my capital, Veritas is his capital. We've effectively cut Fomoria's way into our back lines finally. So now if he even wants to, it's going to be a hard slog for him. So we've at least got that going for us. Probably one of the weak points is if he comes down here and goes over Machaka. But even then, Machaka's got 40 PD, and I could probably recall some stuff to defend. So I don't think I'd make, I'd make it too easy. I mean, you never know what Bogus might do. Uh, that'd probably be another weak point he could push through. I'm not sure if he wants to try going up against Kalermagor's throne or against Baratos' main army again. But yeah, so let's go ahead and check out the rest of the battles. So Pastena. Another raid across the river. Probably not going to work. Just not killing this uh, Furball Commander. There it is. Does not work. Except it actually works. <laughs> so I must have jumped right on that commander and routed everything. And so he loses five Blackhawks and wins that fight. In Livenmark, Veritas goes ahead and does another attack. Trying to snipe another Furball commander. Does snipe it. 
in the Slinger's route. Let's see if he actually does it. He does on the main battle report too. Loses 17 Blackhawks. And then in Aramithia, we have an attack by Fomoria. Yep, so this is that new Fomorian main army. The, the one that moved up Bergamon and joined with the survivors from World Pillar. So now the Midians are on the right flank. We have Barbarians on the left, some Fomorian warriors on the left. And in the center, some Fomorian giants. So a whole bunch of stuff. What is this 103 enemies? So still have a lot, a lot of work to do to fight off Fomoria. In Golem range, uh, I have a very few survivors from that army that Fomoria destroyed. And I believe they're led by this Lion Clan commander. So this little group of ogres and lion warriors is going to see what it can raid. So we're fighting a little bit of heavy infantry. Route the heavy infantry. All right. Let's see how we actually did. Uh, we did all right. So pretty successful little raid. Retaking Golem Range in Mushwood. Veritos is attacking. He's got his little raiding party. Just going up against some lion tribe. So he should do just fine here unless his commander gets sniped. Alright. Does just fine. You get an earth gem. There's an arena. And here comes Bogus hitting the swamp. If you're not familiar with Bogus, it's a party of, I guess, unique heroes with a lot of magic items that will occasionally raid your provinces and games. And Pretty cool, it's based on uh, like an Elementor D&D group, I guess. But they do have a lot of gear, so this guy has Boots of Quickness, a True Shot Longbow. This guy's got Fear 15, so he has the bigger Fear Aura. He's got a Horror Helmet. He's got Faithful, which gives him luck. He's got a Kite Shield. Storm Armor for Storm Immunity, Shock Res as he just flies in storm or no storm and he has a cat charm for extra defense so 29 defense and fairly killy from the 19 damage uh faithful and his lance and then we've got bogus himself the leader of the troop he is a troll he's got a race sword he's got greenstone armor and he's got precious so some acid resistance, high protection, life drain, and attack skill and strength. So 44 damage, life stealing arm, like race sword, combined with his troll regen. Then we have Creon, the warrior mage. He has showed up. He gets eight hit points from his armor, but it's not going to show up until after the battle. He's got a rainbow armor, he's got bracers of protection, and he has a rune smasher. So, fairly capable little mage, especially on stuff like mind burn, because it's going to have a pin boost. And we have Kartuk the troll mage. He's got an ice pebble staff and bracers of protection. And glamour, along with air three. All right, so they're they're just going to slaughter whatever PD is here. All right. 
And then we go ahead and find out a for bulk scout. All right. So, like I said earlier, we've managed to prevent deeper raiding, or at least made it more difficult. The Fomorian army is in Ermithia. We're going to go ahead and send this little raiding group up here to catch these barbarians. So now it's going to try to perform a counter raiding roll. We do see a small number of Raphites here. We're going to go ahead and gather up all this stuff. So we have lion warriors, lizard warriors, elephants and spider riders on the flank, and cavalry, rhino clan up front. We have a fair amount of stuff, including our twice born mages. And we have six PD there. And in terms of what we're sending, nothing to Baratos this turn. Probably just forgot, and I'll send my air gems next turn. And in terms of the score graphs. Ah, so here. I know I've been hitting at it for a few turns, but we see Saramacia and Zabalba join the war effort. They're both up. Zabalba's up a little bit of territory. Saramacia definitely did more of a general assault, gained a bunch of territory. You see that's coming from Fomoria. And in turn, oh, and that's in army size. So they kill a good amount of Fomorians. No, this is Baratos killing that stuff. And then in provinces, Maybe they're up provinces. Yeah, you see they're up provinces. So Saramacia has started attacking. And we see Fomoria losing a lot of land. Especially as Vanheim also is attacking them now. So I re-upped the offensive. So gaining some more land off of Fomoria. So now Vanheim is the province leader. Uh, is has taken a lot of very rich Fomorian land because we see a big income swing to him. Veritas uh, has a big swing up as well. Saramacia doing some site searching, getting gem income, doing a lot of research, pulling way ahead. And yeah, now we have that army graph that clearly shows the Fomoria Veritas fight. All right, so we've now successfully managed to turn this from a 4v2, and then we sack seven provinces to turn it into a 2v2, and now Vanheim joined along with Lanka to make it a 4v2 in our favor, and then Saramacia and Zabalba also joined in to make it a 6v2, and we're just going to try and disable dismantle one of these uh, giant factions. They have a lot of rich land that a lot of people want. Uh, they're pretty large and I think we were fairly sympathetic because we've just been getting beaten to hell and it's pretty obvious in the even in the score graphs. So you see Baratos trying to recover but it was a big dip. Machaka just kind of Barely tagging along. You can see I'm moving right across, getting virtually no research done. Everyone's passing me right now and inflecting up. I just don't have the mage numbers because I've frankly never really built forts. So I've got this one fort, still a palisade, just not getting very many mages. And I'm having to deploy those mages as well. So I'm about to get. A few turns away from Enchantment 5. I don't have much research, but got to do what you got to do. And I think that's good for this turn. So I'll go ahead and see you in turn 29. I hope this was a fun one. Have a good one. Later.